everyone today we the trinity of robotics are going to present our project the rubik's cube solving robot so our robot is a rubik's cube solving robot created through coding it shows an innovating application of coding and robotics and it also showcases the interaction of technology and puzzle solving skills now moving on to slight introduction to rubik's cubes rubik's cubes were invented by erno rubik in the year 1974 erno rubik is a Hungarian professor of architecture and sculpture. Many of you may be wondering why this project. Well, when we heard of this event in our school called Digital Fest, we all decided to make the Rubik's Cube solving robot because of our enthusiasm for coding and cubing. In this, we have created a fusion of technology, robotics, and puzzle solving, and this is how our project came together. We the Trinity consist of myself K Sakit Malia, Advait S and Keshav Sindhu Jeevan. Now, in the beginning, the primary challenge we faced in the initial phase of building the Rubik's Cube solving robot was related to the mechanical functionality of the cube manipulation. Specifically, we had faced issues with the cube's ability to turn efficiently and accurately. So, as a temporary solution, we opted to use colored paper instead of the actual Rubik's Cube to represent the cube's faces. This worked as a temporary solution and a workaround on the immediate problem, but we still had we still faced challenges. Overcoming challenges. The main challenge we faced in the initial part was the motors not turning when the cube was placed on them. So, as a solution to this problem, we decided to get a faster and stronger motor to replace the 5 volt stepper motor, which is the NEMA 17 stepper motor. Moving on to the objectives of our project. Our project is a Rubik's Cube solving robot which shows the interaction of technology and puzzle solving and this is how our project has been culminated. Our project aims to achieve the following key goals. Number one, to demonstrate coding proficiency. We showcase our coding skills by implementing complex algorithms that analyze and solve the Rubik's Cube. Number two, to merge coding with robotics. In this project, we have merged uh, robotics to physically manipulate the Rubik's Cube based on the algorithms generated by our code. We have also tried to bridge the gap between coding and hands-on application in the field of robotics. Number three, to efficiently solve the Rubik's Cube. We have generated algorithms and codes which make sure that the cube is solved efficiently and accurately. We have also tried to minimize the solving time while maintaining precision in each step of the solving process. Number four, to promote STEM education. We intend to inspire interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematic fields by showcasing an innovative application of coding and robotics. We also intend to inspire curiosity and problem solving skills. Number five, to promote collaboration and teamwork. We want to emphasize the power of teamwork in achieving ambitious projects. We want to showcase the collective effort and complementary skills that come together to bring a fruitful project. With these, we have discussed probabilities that arise when coding, Rubik's Cube solving and to robotics converge. Now, moving on to the importance of the project. Many of you may be wondering, why Rubik's Cube solving? Well, to emphasize the educational and practical significance of solving Rubik's Cubes. Solving a Rubik's Cube offers numerous practical and educational benefits. From an educational standpoint, it enhances spatial awareness, critical thinking and logical reasoning skills. The process of solving a Rubik's Cube involves breaking down complex formulas into smaller and manageable steps, which fosters uh, problem solving skills crucial in various academic disciplines and real world scenarios. Moreover, solving Rubik's Cubes can improve memory, concentration and patience, making it a valuable educational tool for students of all ages. Next, to discuss how mastering algorithms and robotic solutions contribute to problem solving skills. Mastering algorithms and robotic solutions for Rubik's Cube solving include understanding and implementing sophisticated mathematical and logical concepts. This process enhances problem solving skills by teaching individuals how to analyze complex problems, devise efficient strategies and optimize solutions. By engaging with algorithms and robotics, individuals develop a deeper understanding of problem solving methodologies, empowering them to tackle a wide range of challenges in diverse fields from computer science to engineering. To highlight any real world application where such skills are valuable. The problem solving skills hold through mastering a Rubik's Cube, algorithms and robotic solutions 
have numerous real world applications across various industries for example computer science and software development understanding algorithms and coding principles is fundamental to software development where problem solving skills are essential for designing efficient algorithms troubleshooting issues and optimizing code now moving on to the components of the robot we've used five nema santin motors a nema santin motor is a type of stepper motor that is widely used in robotics and automation projects it is known for its high torque and precise controls making it suitable for applications that require accurate positioning including cnc machining 3d printing and robotic projects stepper motors move in discrete steps allowing precise control over movement and positioning that's why we have used the a498 driver module it is a commonly used driver module it provides the necessary control signals to drive the nema 17 motor and regulate its speed and direction of rotation motor drivers like the a498 allow the arduino to interface with and drive the nema 17 motor efficiently it for parts such as arms mounts and frames are custom designed components manufactured using a 3d printer these parts serve as the mechanical structure of the robot providing support and housing for the stepper motor motor driver arduino and other components 3d printing allows for precise customization and rapid prototyping enabling the creation of complex geometrical structures tailored to the specific needs of the project the 12 volt power supply provides the necessary electrical power to drive the stepper motor and other electronic components it ensures that the robot operates reliably and consistently by delivering a stable and stable voltage and current to the circuit the power supply should be capable of supplying sufficient current to meet the requirements of the step stepper motor and other components under load arduino mega 2560 the arduino mega 2560 is a microcontroller board based on the at mega 2560 chip it serves as the brain of the robot running the control algorithms and coordinating the operation of various components the arduino mega 2560 provides multiple digital and analog pins making it suitable for requiring a large number of connections the main software component of the robot is an app that we have created on mit app inventor mit app inventor is a visual programming environment which enables users to create mobile applications for android devices without any prior experience in coding it features a simple drag and drop design for users to create user interfaces and functionality for their applications using visual components and block break block based programming in the context of our robot We used MIT App Inventor to design a user interface for controlling and interacting with the robot. This app also facilitates the communication between the user and the Rubik's Cube robot. We implemented Bluetooth communication to send instructions to the robot during the solving process. The function of the app is to load the configuration of the shuffle cube. We can input the position of the pieces on the app. The app then relays this information to the Arduino, which constructs an algorithm to solve the cube. Overall, MIT App Inventor has been a crucial tool in prototyping and developing our Rubik's Cube solving robot, and it has enabled us to create an intuitive and functional. interface that the users can use to effortlessly communicate with the robot we use c++ as the programming language of the arduino we typed 1583 lines of code this code contains all the information to turn the motors collect information from app and solve the cube our project works in three simple steps scrambling the cube feeding the cube's configuration into our app and motors receiving the algorithms and solving on the surface it might seem easy but scrambling is the only easy part of this process
The first process in our project's functioning is to scramble the cube in any manner. Scrambling a cube is like orchestrating a controlled chaos. With each twist and turn, the once orderly face becomes a mosaic of confusion, feeding the configuration. After scrambling the Rubik's Cube, we enter the configuration of the cube into an app that we have created on MIT App Inventor. Feeding the cube's configuration into our app is akin to supplying puzzle pieces to a mastermind. With each input of the Rubik's Cube's arrangement, our app eagerly digests the data, analyzing the intricate patterns and colors to unveil the optimal solution. After the app is done sending configurations to the Arduino, the Arduino creates an algorithm and tells the motors how to turn. Eventually, this process solves the cube.